cool. So you guys will probably remember the original. I don't want to say anything about you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually did Reruns. And I mean, I, I, yes, exactly. they did, well, they played it in syndication, I think, for years. But mm. I, we didn't have it in Canada, or at least not. I mean, I'm sure it did play. I didn't see it. And I didn't see it either when it was originally. I knew what it was in pop culture, mm -hmm. but um, I hadn't watched it. When they first approached, I think both of us, but when they first approached me, I hadn't seen it at all. But I had like a, I think I had an idea. I knew there was a robot and <laughs> it's, that it was sort of this, you know, maybe cheesy sets or whatever. Um, so I wasn't at all sure that it was such a great idea. But <laughs> the script was... Um, just really engaging from the beginning and surprisingly surprisingly nuanced in terms of just the character development and uh, family as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean it is essentially about you know, it's Swiss family Robinson. It's this lost family and they happen to be in space. And I did also you know, I knew that because it was Netflix they would have the capability and desire to support it in a way that they could make this really sort of big audiences are so sophisticated now that you couldn't remake this show on the level that it was made originally and have it work I mean it needs to be a, a reimagining so this show I think um, you know it's this really like dirt under your fingernails big adventure kind of spectacle but at the heart of it is you know, what I hope, what we try to make a, a kind of real family with real problems and flaws. And yeah, I was going to say, you mentioned the, the original was quite cheesy and this is very tonally different as mm. well. And it's it's sort of, the two of you obviously butt heads quite often throughout the series as well. I mean, how, how important is it to t t tell that side of the story now to be relevant to audiences? Mm. Well, I think for you, for a modern audience to care about this family, they need to relate to them. And, um, you know, I think we all know, coming from normal families, <laughs> that families have problems. Mm -hmm. And it's not some idealized version of what an, a family should be. It's, um, it's like uh, what families are. They're complicated, they're dysfunctional. It's not dysfunctional in a depressing and dark way. It's just an average family that is struggling mm -hmm. um, with their relationships with one another. And, it, and I think that that will, rather than people watching something and just going, this is such an idealized family that I, I, I'm kind of like either made slightly nauseous by it or, <laughs> or I just, it just doesn't speak to me. Hopefully, the weird thing is that this is a sci-fi adventure that people will go at the heart of it there's a family that I can relate to. These yeah. people, I care about them, and I want them to succeed. And as, as we're both parents of, you know, school-age children who, I mean, I have a boy who's, both of us have boys who are the same age as Will Robinson in the show. So this, I also read it really thinking about my son and what what he would, just that that, that story, that Will Robinson story, I think is, is um, is something that my boy, I think, and a lot of kids will really be able to aspire to, but get, but understand. You know, here's a character who doesn't feel like he's quite good enough to be where he is, is, is afraid, and yet learns throughout the show to, to, to sort of be courageous. Uh, and I know that my boy is like so excited about seeing, seeing the show. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and obviously you've got the Robinson kids played by uh, Taylor, Mina and Max as well. They sometimes act more grown up than you guys. Mm. <laughs> Was it quite a, an eye-opener to watch these kids play these roles as well? Because they seem to take on a lot. Mm. Yeah, it was, delight it was really delightful working with them and being around them and that, that energy that they bring to it. But also, I love the fact that in this show, the parents are taught things by the children. And they're saved in some circumstances by the children. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, I think this show is aspirational in the best way that these kind of shows can be aspirational. Rather than it being patronizing, it's something that is inspiring. You know, these kids are so bright, capable, and intelligent, but often, um, you know, they get in their own way and they, they find their, rather like uh, Will, 
he finds his capability through the stresses and strains mm. of the con conditions in which they're in. And he finds that actually he is brave and he can stand on his own, he can do things. And I, I love the fact that these children are so bright because if I was a kid watching this, I would want to be as bright and as capable as them. And I think that that is aspirational in a really good way because it'll inspire kids. And it, and. and, and I think for girls too, really. You know, yeah. the, the 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 women and the girls in this strong. show are strong, not in a way that is, I mean, just in a real way. You yeah. know, it's supposed to be thirty years in the future. I think the writers have envisioned a world in which there's no question that the girls can do what the boys can do. That any woman could do a job that a man could do. And I, I mean, I think that even just in terms of girls, you know, uh, having confidence doing math and science and that kind of stuff, it will be inspiring. But, you know, I just think there's not that much out there that you want to watch with your kids. You know, it's not a kid's show, actually. It's sophisticated enough that adults will enjoy it. And there's sort of real dynamics and issues uh, within the family that are familiar, I think, to a modern family. Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!